today I'm shooting a documentary strictly uh, in promptitude. Um, here in Northern California, we have a really serious problem with the homeless. And not that long ago, I came across this area in Sacramento on Stockton Boulevard where um, there used to be a hotel there. They tore it down many years ago, and now it's infected, literally, with tents and homeless people. I don't know if the government did this. I'm not sure if it's a county or state situation where they arranged this, but um, I don't know what to expect. I am not taking my wallet inside. I don't know what's going to happen. So uh, let's check it out. Currently, right now, I'm across the street. Um, I'm going to pull up here so you can get a good look. If you look straight ahead, years ago, there used to be a hotel or motel there. Now, it's been tore down, and it's nothing but tents and homeless people. Um, I'm going to walk inside and see what I can see. All right, I just ran across the street. Let's see what's up. Damn, I hear music in that mother. Morning. All right, shooting a documentary for a Black Tastic News. Black Tastic News. Is this? God's winning today. Used to be a hotel here years ago, right? I believe so. I don't know. I, I was never here before, but I remember there was some type of uh, structure here. They used to have little tiny houses built, and whoever wants to live here, they have to earn their space. But these struggling people, God bless them. I know they know right from wrong. I don't know who they're working for, but they ain't working for my neighborhood. This is my neighborhood. It's like, this isn't even their neighborhood. They just want to make it as ugly as possible. And this place should be beautiful. There should be fire pits. There should be picnic baskets. People... Like really a campground, really right? Looking out for each other. I'm thankful to all the people that do have it in their hearts and take the time because these people work and earn where they are. But these people just like... Think stuff stuff goes over nothing. It's a blessing to be well thought of. Was this uh, arranged by Sacramento County or Sacramento, this Sacramento City? Sacramento Some people they really don't care if they're outside. I I personally don't like being out here. It was very cold last night. My legs were locked to the cement. It's hard being on the cement all the time. It really gets into your body and your bones and it sucks your energy out of you. I can only imagine. Yes. I got higher things on my mind, like my son. His birthday just passed. Well, happy belated birthday. Yeah, that's my that's my mom's boy right there. That's grandma's boy. I'll let see him. Is um are you born and raised here in Sacramento? Yes, I'm a native. This is my neighborhood too. That's what makes me kind of feel about it. It's like I don't know. The last it's time I did an uh, interview I like this, <laughs> well, yeah, I, I lived in Oak Park for 11 years. I'm originally from Compton, California. Wow, how beautiful people are there, hey, and it's yeah. real. Because they know farther down south you go, the more meticulous and manners they have. And they're more beautiful. The women are women and the men are men. That's right. And thank you, Lord, for that. Because up north, it's like, damn. You guys are just naturally not That's your little dog there? Yeah, that's Papa's. 
His name is Papa's? Yeah, Papa's. And Max is over there. They're the most <laughs> awesome dogs you can ever meet. Max is a high class working dog. He's a rescue dog. He is so amazing. He is so intimidating, though, because how he looks, but he is so robust. He's like, he breathes by the door. He checks everybody, but he's you know, her army weight. That's Papa's. Papa's is here for us. Uh, hey, Papa's. He has his old fan base club over there. <laughs> Papa's, he's well known as far as people love him. Shay. Well, the good news is the weather's going to be nice for the next couple of days. It's supposed Probably to rain good. next week. Spring Probably is finally good. coming. I got sleep fever yesterday, bad. Yeah, they think I've been drinking, but it's the sun. It overtook me. I had the flowers and the hummingbirds and the butterflies. Oh. oh, yeah. I'm thankful. Yeah. So how many I, I people? I try to redirect the people that bring us things like the dog food. I'm like, excuse me, if you would please make those donations to the SPCA. Okay. The, the clothes donations. I mean, it's mass profit for a lot of these people. Sometimes the people that really need the things don't get it. And it's kind of jacked up. I, I was a distributor, but the, I was apparently hoarding everything. This is all distributed by the government here, or? Um, no, by by carry individuals in the community. That, that is beautiful. These people need to be housed. And we really do, but first, before we house them, let's house the mentally ill people. Let, let's have them in a safe place. I mean, where they're not paying 650 and seven sharing a room. You know, um, yeah. And the young people. The young people. I say, let the whole generation from uh, 1980, I say 82, 82 to 89, even 90. If they're in prison, let them out. Put them in their parts of the community. This is their time right now. They don't need to be in there. That's the missing link. This is their time. Why are they doing that to us and keeping us all? You know, if you right. have kids, CPS should be having them together. Give them house. Send the resources to them. Well, that's the first thing the government does is break up families. That's the first well, thing they do. Well, make some new adhesive laws because these things are not working. Right. My son's in prison right now with Pelican Bay, and I feel like he's paid for a lot more people's crimes than his own. I mean, yeah, whatever he did, he's young, he could do that. Put My brother just got out of prison. Because he's a powerful young man, and he's not all bad. He's, he's like about 98% all good. And yeah, that's what it's like. What? Whatever part in the community, like hospitals, shriners, morgues, cemeteries, battlefield, get the young men out here, it's their time. That's my chief concern because, you know, I, I work sometimes on that place with my son. In the position I'm in right now, I was like, I'm of no use to jail. We can use them in our community. That is a neat little contraption. He has a radio on the back of that thing. <laughs> That's a true. He fixes them like it within uh, 10 minutes flat. That is awesome. Yeah. Yeah, my brother just did 37 years. That's a lot of And uh, time. just got out, and he's very active and doing good in the community. Without a doubt. To be able to do that. And he's really doing a lot of good in Compton. He goes to the neighborhood every weekend, talks to the OGs, I feeds them. Yeah. I believe that the ones that are in there didn't know best of what needs to change. Well, we should. got some music now. Thank God for music. That sounds good, man. Oh, they took it over, huh? How many families are out here, you think? Forty-five to fifty, you think, tents? I believe some of them really don't care about being housed, but, you know, they're going to be pretty ass out, you know, when the programs are uh, discontinued because right. they're not affected. You know, they need to... Uh, do their part. I mean, you have to meet somebody halfway. If somebody's walking all the way to get you, you need to walk to meet them too. I mean, if they're walking all the way to walk with you, it's for you. You gotta want to do something better. I mean, damn, I don't like people seeing the garbage. This is how you represent? Yeah. I'm in the front. Oh, God. Then they make me look like I'm a drunken addict. I got bottles. 
whatever they don't want, they always put it right by my stuff. You know, I don't want the roaches by me. They make sure they put enough garbage by me. Oh my God. Well, it goes for a long distance back there. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, I, I believe they should have a, a living size swimming pool right there where the trees are at. Yeah. A living size heated dome pool. Everything in here should be glow in the dark. They have no sports equipment here <laughs> whatsoever. People like to dig in the trash, but they don't want to put their trash in the dumpster. <laughs> I don't get that, okay? Yeah. <laughs> it's very I, it accurate. happens at my job all the time, you know? Yes. They I try to leave cardboard, and right across my job is a, a bakery. So they, they leave food out, and I come back to work the next day, they tear it apart, you know? It, yeah, it's like I'm trying to help, and they make it more work for me the next day. I had this whole area clean with two ladies just holding plastic bags open, so I could fill them up with my square heads open. Right. Well, it's going to be a beautiful day today. And the mass profit is from people that get to get everything that comes and sell to the drug connect for their dough. Yeah. They don't give a shit if this person doesn't have no jacket on their pants. And they hoard it. Hey, it's for everybody. They said I was hoarding. I was a distributor because I know who needs what. I'm here all the time because I cannot leave <laughs> to go do my laundry. Because my stuff is just everything. Everything. Tweedles? Tweedles? Probably. I don't know. I, when a mentally ill people come and they want to buy drugs from whosoever, if so ever, you know, I, I discourage that. Yeah. Is that a, you I think that's a coping know. mechanism for right now? A Just a, a no, coping mechanism? They because they have a chemical and natural within their chemical right they already have uh, medical issues and they're usually young people and I wouldn't want nobody to my kids I don't care if he's a kid's a young girl or he's a man uh -uh. nobody won't, wouldn't want anybody to get their kids done I'm always discouraging them, but oh I get stuck with all the crazies around mine and they say it's my fault for inviting me but it's hell cold out and a young person out there without jackets come in and be warm be himself but after that they will not go away Right. I'm imposing upon them, but, and then they're mad at me. Like, be mad, go mad. If you don't live here, you have a place to go, you go there. You don't need to be here picking up bad habits. So do they ever close this gate at night, or is the gate's always no. open? We might be a poor person, because somebody's going to stay in here. We won't want to be disturbed. We probably couldn't get this really working like the community. I wouldn't even mind running a couple of houses. There are lots of rooms for the mentally ill. I mean, we take them all the time. We're not formally trained, but uh, sure we're not being paid for this service. Day right. and night. You know, and then on a certain day of the week, trust don't believe, they call them J-Cats, but I was just saying mentally ill people, they're just fully wild. Right. And they're everywhere. And they're usually uh, gathering up with stuff, you know. Yeah, I remember San Juan Motel years ago used to be here. Back then, I was too young to get a room. <laughs> I remember being about that. I didn't ever run the streets have to be on the streets. It's very disheartening for females though, because we have to have a certain level of privacy. Absolutely. And we have to shower. It's very difficult, and they won't let you wild around here. And then in that mirrors in the bathroom, it's like, uh, you know, but they're getting people in prison. And all the other neighborhoods at their little bathroom places, they got mirrors in the bathroom. They turn off the hot water, so I always have to remember to carry some. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I think that's so. I mean, they know.